Uh, Madam President and, and uh, Senator Sinjum, um, I want to just raise a question of inquiry as to when we'll have a Rules Committee meeting uh, relative to the retention of counsel uh, on behalf of the Senate. And the, and the question, I know there been, there's been correspondence between you and Senator Bach. Uh, the question some of us have is a little bit different, and that's a question relative to the legal ethics involved um, because the Senate has retained counsel and pursuant to the code of professional responsibility that all lawyers are governed by, all clients have to be kept apprised of litigation. If the Senate has retained counsel, every one of us, all 67 senators, are the clients. And all I know as an individual client is what I read in the newspaper, a quotation from Mr. Ludeman, who is not a senator, who is an employee of the Senate. The representation of the particular firm also raises a couple of other concerns that we need addressed, and that is the potential of conflicts, because this law firm has represented the Senate DFL uh, caucus previously uh, on issues, and, and I was not involved with that, but we need to explore that, as well as, uh, as I, what I understand to be the law firm, if it's the law firm that, that I'm aware of, um, we need to, to uh, be advised relative to any conflicts that might exist, because they have uh, work that they do here in the state capitol with the Senate and the House relative to the representation of clients. So we have some of those concerns that would be concerns I think any lawyer uh, who's a member of the body would understand relative to the, uh, uh, to the code of professional responsibility that we'd like to have addressed with the law firm. Obviously, additionally, we have the concerns raised relative to Senate rules uh, uh, brought on behalf of Senator Bach in terms of the retention of counsel, the payment of counsel, uh, how this will proceed. And again, can only emphasize that uh, from uh, the perspective of, of legal ethics, um, as best I know, the Senate has retained um, counsel. The Senate is not a corporation, uh, so that you have a CEO. Every one of the 67 of us would be the client. And so we need to know how all the clients will be apprised of what's going on. And that's why, Mr. Major Leader, the inquiry is when we'll have a mem uh, meeting of the Rules Committee to discuss not just with Mr. Ludeman, um, and Senate counsel, but also with the particular lawyers retained by the Senate as to how we're going to handle these ethical kinds of concerns. Senator Sanjum. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam President and Senator Cohen. Uh, uh, believe me, the intent here, is, intent here is to be transparent. There's no question about this. Uh, you may or may not be aware of a letter that, uh, that I sent to Senator Bach yesterday, and uh, that's been circulated at least within our membership, and we can certainly make it available to yours if you'd like. Senator Ortman and I intend to, uh, in fact, we just talked about it coming in, uh, to call Senator Bach uh, first thing next week and sit down with him and, and work through these things. Uh, I understand your concern. There's uh, every wish to be transparent in this. There's obviously th some things that we can't get into uh, in, in, in that kind of a forum, but we want to make sure that your questions are answered, and I think you'll find us kind of accommodating. But Senator Cohen. And Madam President, Senator Sengem, I, I appreciate that. Let me just offer the distinction, because I did see your response to Senator Bach, and the purpose of my inquiry is, is not so much an interpretation of rules of the Senate, but I think that needs to be addressed as well as Senator Bach has, has written to you, and I did see your, your response, uh, because obviously the rules of the Senate deal with the governance of the body. The question I raise is a little bit different, because it gets into a question of, of the ethics that each of us as a lawyer has toward a client. And if I were to represent somebody as my client, uh, I have a duty to disclose to my client uh, what's going on, what's taking place. And the point I want to emphasize is that since the Senate has retained counsel, not, say, the Senate Majority Caucus, and if the Senate Majority Caucus retains counsel, I have nothing to say about that. And there's no need to disclose anything to me if the Senate Majority Caucus is doing something of that sort. But where the Senate is doing it as the entire body, then I have as much right as anybody else on this floor to a disclosure of what's going on. Now, having said that, um, I know that this is a very serious matter, and the Senate would want to proceed in a professional, appropriate way. And Senator Bach and I would be very happy to sit down, sit down and, and talk to you about some approach to this that might make sense without being disruptive to the Senate as a body. But we do want that opportunity. We'd like to have that opportunity as quickly as possible to do that with you, Senator Ortman, and anybody else, and then have some discussion, uh, if appropriate, in, in the full Rules Committee. Senator Cohen, I believe that did go a, a little bit beyond a simple inquiry of the, of the um, 
Senate Majority Leader. Well, and, and Madam President, I was just trying to reply to his comment back to me. Senator Sanjay. And, and Madam President, just to, to be assured, uh, Senator Ortman may be talking to Senator Bach right now. This was eminent just before coming into the room, so it's our intent to sit down with certainly him and certainly you if you'd like to be in the room and, uh, and talk about these issues and make sure that you're comfortable with them. 